Welcome to the Demon Charmers podcast. So what is demon charming? It's like snake charming, but for the demons in our heads. You know, they're the negative voices, usually self-critical, self-doubt, self-judgment, those sorts of voices. And over the years, I've started to wonder, does that voice have to dominate? Does it have to dominate my thinking and my life experience? Or could I start to take control over that? Could I actually start to charm this demon? And what I realised, sadly, after 15 years of anorexia was that I wasn't going to find worth in being thin. I wasn't going to find worth in doing what other people thought I should have done when I was younger. And that takes in a really dark place. I had a lot of voices in my head. Um, I've done this, I've done that. I've, all the people I used to work for me was all on my shoulders. I'm not going to wake up tomorrow morning and find Bobby Ewing in the shower and realise this is all a really bad dream. You know, this is still here tomorrow and the day after and the day after. The biggest challenge was it felt like you were constantly, you know, trying to prove something, prove something, prove something, prove something, prove something. Um, so yeah, that, that was kind of the biggest battle for me. I thought I'd be bulletproof. I thought I'd be bulletproof. When I got to play, I thought that that had happened. Um, but I've learned that it's been all right with not being bulletproof and letting go of the vine of control. We are all better than we know. If we can only be made to realise this much earlier, we won't settle for anything less. That's what we want to do at Leeds Rhinos Foundation. We want to give our people in the city and beyond the opportunities to just be a better version of themselves and realise their potential. And if we can provide as many good opportunities for people to be the best version of themselves they can be, then they're going to grow up being resilient, they're going to grow up being confident, they're going to aspire. And that's why I'm so passionate about having these kind of conversations, where we can talk about our experiences and our challenges, but also the solutions. What works for us, what doesn't work for us? And in that way, we can learn from each other, learn with each other. 